Have you ever wondered how some people manage to retire early, traveling the world or living their dream life, all without winning the lottery? What if I told you that the secret to their success could be yours too? And it's not as complicated as you might think. Welcome to our journey into the surprisingly simple strategies that could lead you to financial freedom. In today's video, How to Be a Millionaire on a Low Salary, we're going to uncover the truths about wealth that only the rich seem to know. We'll explore how ordinary people like you and me can build extraordinary wealth even on a modest salary. From the best ways to manage your earnings to smart investing that even beginners can master, I'll guide you through practical steps to grow your wealth. Stay with me until the end and please subscribe, like and share my video. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, these insights are designed to make your money work harder for you. Before we dive in, let me know in the comments, what's one financial goal you're striving to achieve this year? I'm eager to see your responses and I'll be sure to read through them. You won't get rich until you grasp this idea. Imagine these small glass balls represent all the rich folks in the world. How many of them do you think earned about $100,000 a year while they were working? According to a study by Ramsey Solutions, only 31% did. Even more shocking, 79% of these rich folks didn't inherit any money from their families. So what secrets do these rich people know that others don't? How can you become one of them? There are four key questions you need to think about. If you can say yes to these, you're on your way to becoming rich, even if you don't earn a lot. When it comes to your money, you control two things, what you earn and what you spend. Sounds easy, right? But it's not always so simple. Over half of Americans who earn more than $100,000 a year live from one paycheck to the next because they spend too much. It doesn't matter how much you earn, what's important is managing your earnings and spending wisely to have extra money left over. Second key point, do you think an 18-year-old saving an extra $250 a month will retire rich? Yes, they will end up with about $1.1 million. What about a 25-year-old saving $500 a month? they will gather even more, around $1.3 million. Now, what about a 50-year-old who manages to save $3,000 a month? Unfortunately, they will get close, but only amass about $950,000. This highlights why it's crucial to start early. You can't achieve this return with a regular savings account, but it's the typical return for the S&P 500. We'll get into that later. The third key point is retiring at 65 years old. So, which should you focus on more to have extra money? Let's look at your expenses. I know it might sound boring, but if you track your money using an app, you might be surprised by how many small amounts you spend each month. Think about all those services you pay for but don't really use. They could be costing you over $30 a month. I'm not talking about things you need, just those you don't. Fourth key point, one of the biggest traps people fall into is having debt with high interest, like on credit cards. It's really important to clear this debt quickly. Imagine if someone told you that you could earn a 27% return each year by investing. You'd probably think it's too good to be true, but that's the kind of interest rate credit card companies charge every year. So instead of letting them take your money, use credit cards smartly. Always pay your full balance each month, boost your credit score and earn rewards like free flights. Many experts online will stop there, but I won't because there's another way that's actually my favorite. I wasn't always great at saving. I didn't go crazy with spending in my youth, but I sure enjoyed life. I traveled the world, flew planes, raced cars, and gave my family a great life. I managed this because I knew how to increase my income. I encourage you to focus on this as well. Unlike cutting back on small expenses, the amount you can earn is limitless. Question two, are you smart with how you split your income? Did you know that 49% of folks who make over $100,000 a year have nothing left at month's end? A big secret to building wealth is splitting your income wisely. Here's how you can divide your income effectively. For most, this will be what you make from your job. Ideally, you should spend 50% on essentials, things you absolutely need to live. I'm not talking about your Netflix subscription here. This means your housing, utilities, groceries, getting around and medical needs. These costs depend on your situation, but you need to be honest with yourself. If you cheat here, you're only fooling yourself. 
then allow 30% for things you enjoy like dining out, the latest video games, or hanging out at events with friends. Most people don't set limits here and that's a big mistake. Even though I make millions, I still cap how much I spend on fun stuff. I know that if I want more luxuries, I need to earn more, not spend a bigger slice of my income on them. The crucial part is the last 20% of your income. While some people might say, save it, I believe it should be invested. Often, people save up for things like the latest iPhone or a holiday with friends. However, that's not the best use of this 20%. Investing means putting your money into things that will increase in value or make more money for you over time, like stocks, real estate, or even in improving your own skills. Using this strategy, you can grow a modest salary into millions, though it usually takes a long time, often decades. That's why I suggest adding another strategy, start a side hustle. A side hustle is like adding fuel to a fire. It speeds up your financial growth. If you funnel your side hustle earnings into investments that yield an average of 10% annually, every dollar you make today could be worth about $4.45 in 15 years. It's a powerful way to boost your earnings. So the third question, do you have a side hustle? You might wonder, why should I start a side hustle if I'm already working full time? Shouldn't my employer just pay me more? Well, if your pay is low, it might be because your job isn't valued highly, or perhaps you're not getting a fair deal. It's common to feel cheated by the system or your boss, but this is often not the case. If you truly believe you're underpaid, it may be time to look for a better job. However, if your job just doesn't pay enough for the lifestyle you want, then creating a side hustle could be the solution if you're serious about increasing your wealth. For many, freelancing is a great option. Say you work in marketing during the week, you could use your skills on weekends to help small businesses grow in exchange for payment. There are different ways to charge for your services. The most common is by the hour. You might charge between $30 to $200, but I recommend a different approach. Charge based on the results you deliver. For instance, you could help a business expand its social media reach and ask for a portion of the sales you generate. This setup benefits both you and your client, and your earning potential becomes limitless. What if you think you don't have any skills? That's no problem. Go out and learn one. Just picture this. What if you could make an extra $1,000 each month? If you save that money and it grows at an average rate of 7% a year for 28 years, you'd end up with over a million dollars. One million. $38,688 to be exact. All from that extra cash you made. So the fourth question is, is your money working hard for you? I know some of you might be thinking, this is nuts. Which bank gives you 7% a year? This guy must be joking. I totally get it. That's why the main takeaway from this talk is, you need to start investing. The S&P 500, a group of 500 big companies, has had an average yearly growth of 13.6% over the last decade. While that's a bit more than usual, it's true that no one loses money by holding on to an S&P 500 index fund for more than 20 years. The key is to open the right kind of investment account. In the USA, you might hear about Roth IRAs, and in the UK, it's stocks and shares, ISAs. If you don't have one, you're missing out, because these accounts help you save on taxes, though they do have some limits. Where do you set up these accounts? There are lots of investment apps out there. A great thing about these apps is they allow you to buy parts of expensive shares. So if a full share of Apple costs $190, you can invest just $1 if you want. Remember this, every small step you take today towards managing your finances better is a leap towards your financial freedom tomorrow. Whether it's cutting down on unnecessary expenses, learning a new skill, or starting a side hustle, each action you take is building the foundation of your wealth. So, don't wait, start small, think big, and keep pushing forward. It's not about having huge sums of money to invest initially, it's about being smart with what you have. Join me on this journey to financial freedom. Subscribe for more insights. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and share it with someone who could use this advice. Together, we can all move toward a richer tomorrow. If you've stuck with me to the end of this video, drop a comment below and tell me how many of the questions you answered yes to. And if you're curious about how I choose the stocks I invest in, stick around for the next video. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep striving for more. And here's to your investing success. 
profitable investing.